Hey folks, we are here with Extreme Networks and uh, we're doing our wireless survey. Yeah, that's Lewis and Mike. Wireless survey is extraordinaire. Hello everyone. <laughs> so my guess is we're on this side because, oh, I don't know, there's a lot of doors. Oh, that's not. I got a key to that one. That's all mechanical space. Hey. Where we have on this now. I'm guessing that because that's the only side with the door through. There's, there's yeah, I think. There's elevators right here. No, up. those are upstairs. We we're right outside these elevators, so this is this hallway oh, so, right here. Okay. It's inside the hall. Okay, cool. So that's this is the doorway that goes through to the center. Is that yeah. What that is? Okay. Yeah. It goes to the middle of H. So what software are you using there, Lewis? What's it called? Echo. Oh, Echo. Echo Wireless Design. He's got a heck of iPad and he's running Echo. How he's got a little. Little sensor unit over here. It's a floor plan. And he starts doing his reading. So that unit on the side is called the Sidekick Two. Sidekick. Yep. It's basically a three. It's, a, it's basically an access point sensitivity grade. So while he's walking around, it has three radios and it's constantly just receiving signals. It's not transmitting, all it's doing is listening. Right. And, yeah, you know, so there's different modes you could put it in. And what we like to view in is what's called mobile device view. Mm -hmm. And that simulates what your personal device, the sensitivity of the radio on your personal device um, has. Yeah, which yeah, is generally so going to be less than less like than, a laptop. Yeah, or we're not going to put a, a high great expensive radio in a mobile device where you know in the infrastructure device they will because it's constantly in communication Oop. with the mobile device i gotta go open a door for lewis oh they're in there does that all match them up yeah sorry right where's that column there? hello we're just doing a wi-fi survey yeah, so I've been following these guys all over the hospital. Get another door here. Knock, knock. Nobody there? No, it's two separate offices. Two separate, okay, there's another, yeah, there's another office back there. If you want to All right, get there. back here. This, these offices aren't on the blueprint, are they? Knock, knock. You there, Polly? Let's go to this one now. Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap around and come into that one. Yeah, just, just pull them closed after you're yeah. done. Okay, that one had a column. So anyway, as I was saying, hello everybody, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Uh, we've been doing the uh, wireless survey, Lewis and Mike are the ones performing it, they're from Extreme Networks, and uh, as you heard, they're using some specialized software on their iPad, and uh, there's one piece of software they got that's really cool, but I can't wait till he tells you about that. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to open some more doors. Here, find the key. Hello. I'm opening doors for these guys. It's pretty much my job. We have to, uh, they want to check every single square inch that they possibly can. I got one more door here. This is going to get really loud, folks. Ooh. And my lens is dirty. Oh, 
it's going to be a really poor video this year, this week, guys, but it'll be interesting at least. Look, an automatic transfer switch. Look, a network switch. And a bunch of noisy equipment. No, I don't know what what's this. I know what that is, but I don't know what all these pipes go to. It's probably part of the pneumatic tube system. We're gonna get out of here because it's hot in here too. I'm just looking for other doors that I might have to open for him. Yeah, they have this other piece of software called um, Just Go. And um, that one's really cool. You got it. You got a hate point the Wi Fi sucks. Can you change Oh, yeah, that is terrible. Yeah, I looked at her phone. Yeah, she's not connected to any Wi Fi. No. So I told her about the EMP, or is that what it is? Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh. Is that what Lewis is in there? No. I'm just, just opening the doors before he okay. gets there. Um. If you could just leave it open because he's going to go in there and check um, yeah, Wi Fi. Yeah, I'm going to just get the piece. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are these are more mechanical spaces. Yeah. I don't know if he needs to get in there. That last one's uh, I just get they, they store gas cylinders in there and they say open the door and wait two to three minutes before entry. Yeah, so we're not going to bother going in there. No, I wouldn't. That's a gas room. It says if if you open the door, you got to wait two to three minutes before entering. Ah, okay. Both of these are locked. There is this one space in here that's a decent size where they sort of floor for neighbors. That's be this room right here. Yeah, that's a good size. So good I don't know what this room is. I've never been in any of these rooms. I opened this one right next to us. Oh, okay. So you, you can get into this door over here. He's there. It's way down here. Yeah, on the left. switch in there. Alrighty. Uh, Scott, is there a second side or is that just like crawl space over there? That's all crawl oh, space. Yeah. Like, I really not, I don't remember this is the only occupied area down here on this side. All right. We did talk about this on Monday. We talked about the crawl space. All right, as exciting as this is, we're going to take a little break and uh, we'll resume upstairs. We're not here, there, are we? So, tell me again what, what it is you guys are doing. You set up a test so AP in that doing office. Right now, this is called an AP on a stick survey. So, we basically set up a test access point to simulate um, or to put up and test the RF propagation throughout this building. See what type of wall attenuation we're dealing with. To, so it'll help us better when we design this system, since this is the access point you're using, we'll have ac accurate data for the, you know, to see how far the signal's gonna propagate within this building. Awesome. And we're gonna use the, from your existing APs, the data from those to find out what the 
walls are like in the rest of the hospital. But since this is the oldest building, probably with the, the a diff, more, I guess. A, we got brick, we got rebar, bar, we yeah. got everything, everything here. So usually older buildings um, are more problematic for RF just because of the way they were constructed. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, those uh, those two are off and running again. So hopefully you found that a little bit interesting. Um, there's one other piece of software I really wanted them to demo, but they just they didn't have the time today. Um, you can Google it though. Uh, it's called Just Go, and it's a wireless survey software. That is the slickest piece of software I've ever seen. Um, runs on an iPad, at least this one did. And basically, you tell it to start gathering data and you just start pointing the iPad camera around the room and walk different rooms, down the hall, whatever. It starts building a floor plan and populating any APs that it finds on that floor plan. So, uh, the slickest piece of software I've ever seen. Um, he, this guy said he used it to, he practiced on his house and um, he did it three different times and the square footage all matched up within what do you say eight square feet um over the three times he did is plus or minus plus or minus four square feet so pretty accurate it comes back and tells you the square footage the area and plots the walls that it can find and it doesn't matter if, if you do do it from the inside it'll build the floor plan from the inside you can go walk around the outside of the building and that'll put in the perimeter and uh really neat so look that up i'm gonna go look it up now because i haven't i've never heard of it before it's called just go so anyway that's all we got this week guys if you like what you saw click the subscribe button click the notification bell give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down and we'll see you all next week god bless whoop and